Hi, my name is Kushi Pancho, and this is my fourth project on medical journal research for Sports Medicine 3. The topic that I researched is catacil, or also known as cerebral autosomal dominant arteriopathy with subcortical infarcts and leukoencephalopathy. These are the medical journals I researched for this project. The first one is from Alzheimer's Society, and the second one is from BMC Medicine. This is a table of contents of what I will be covering in this presentation. 1. The causes of catacil and how it is diagnosed. 2. The phases of catacil. 3. Who does it affect? 4. How does it affect people slash the brain? 5. Prevalence and life expectancy. 6. Is catacil related to other diseases? 7. Treatments. and 8. A summary. Causes of catacil. Catacil is caused by the mutation of the NOTCH3 gene found on chromosome 19. Here in the middle is a picture of chromosome 19 and the NOTCH3 gene. On the left is a picture of the NOTCH3 gene, and on the right is a picture of a mutated NOTCH3 gene. This mutation can lead to protein misfolding and receptor aggregation in the brain. The NOTCH3 gene is a protein coding gene, and this gene is essential for the maintenance of blood vessels. This disruption in the mutated gene can cause brain cells to self-destruct, and this self-destruction of brain cells can lead to irreversible brain damage and damage to the blood vessels. The first picture is an MRI of a brain that is affected by catacil, and the second picture is an MRI of a normal brain. As you can see from the two pictures, they are very different. The white matter on the affected brain is much lighter and spread out, and on the normal brain, the white matter is more of a dark gray color. The superior vermin vein is enlarged on the brain affected by catacil. And on the normal brain, the superior vermin vein is not as large. On the normal brain MRI, you are able to see the hypothalamus. However, on the brain affected by catacil, you are not able to see the hypothalamus as clearly. The frontal sinus on both brains are the same. The third ventricle on the brain affected by catacil is much smaller than the normal brain. The shrinking of the third ventricle can cause reduced blood flow to the brain. How is catacil diagnosed? For many years, catacil was misdiagnosed with diseases like Alzheimer's and chronic migraines. However, after years of research, doctors and scientists finally figured out a way to properly diagnose and treat the symptoms of catacil. First, the doctors start off with a physical exam and a review of the patient's history to check if they had any symptoms before. Then the doctor recommends to get scans like MRIs and CAT scans to really find out what was going on in the brain. If doctors happen to find something in the brain, they usually recommend the patient gets genetic testing done to see if they have that gene passed on to them or if there is a possibility that they may pass on that gene to their offspring. After testing and scans, the doctor prescribes medications to help with the progressing symptoms and to reduce the chance of the patient suffering from a stroke. Phases of catacil. There are a total of five phases of how catacil progresses. Phase one is the initial stage where symptoms start to appear. However, they will be very mild and can possibly cause a seizure or stroke. Phase two is almost the same as phase one. There will be mild symptoms, st strokes and seizures may occur, but there will be signs of cognitive impairment such as difficulty remember things, difficulty concentrating, or even confusion. Phase three is a little bit more severe than phase one or two. The symptoms will be the symptoms can interfere with daily activities, and these symptoms can include migraines with aura, vision problems, and more. Phase 3 is when the patient starts to suffer from recurrent strokes and seizures, and in the scans, white matter lesions may appear. Phase 4 is when symptoms start to become very severe, and the strokes and seizures can become life-threatening. The patient will begin to forget a lot of things and will have to deal with severe depression and anxiety. In Phase 4, brain damage may occur due to strokes and seizures. Phase 5 is when the symptoms become extremely severe and medications may not even be able to help with strokes and seizures. Irreversible brain damage may occur and patient may fall into a coma or even die. Who does catacil affect? Catacil can affect both male and female and anyone from any race. It does not have a specific gender or race that it affects. How does catacil affect people slash the brain? Catacil can cause strokes and other impairments such as memory loss, deterioration of intellectual abilities, loss of balance, and more. It can also affect blood flow to the brain due to the recurrent strokes the patients suffer from. It can also lead to cardiac arrhythmias. The QT variability index is a non-invasive measure of repolarization that can be used to diagnose cardiovascular diseases.
and this test can help figure out whether the patient is suffering from cardiac or their arrhythmias. Patients who have been diagnosed with catastasis can also have myocardial infarctions, or also known as a heart attack. However, there is no link between why patients may suffer from a heart attack. Other things that can happen to the brain is that the deep white matter lesions can worsen, causing irreversible brain damage. Catacil can also lead to a lower nocturnal blood pressure in people, meaning their blood pressure will rapidly drop at night and will have trouble coming back up to a normal blood pressure. It is also known as nocturnal hypotension. Patients usually take medication to control their blood pressure during the night. Symptoms. Patients who are suffering from catacil can suffer from a variety of symptoms. Some symptoms include a migraine with aura or a classic migraine with disturbances that include flashes of light, blind spots, tingling in your hand or face, and other vision problems. These problems usually resolve themselves after the migraine is treated with proper medication. However, they can come back if a patient suffers from another migraine episode. Slurred speech and weakness on one side of the body are signs that a patient is having a stroke, and these symptoms can last even after the stroke has ended. Catacil can also cause psychiatric disturbances, such as severe depression and changes in behavior or personality. Other problems that are related to the brain are vision problems, such as loss of vision, cognitive disorientation, such as confusion and memory loss. White matter lesions throughout the brain are also known as zookaryosis, indicate small vessel vascular brain disease, as well as degenerative or inflammatory processes within the brain. Other symptoms include loss of brattle control and patchy hair loss. Sp Spondyloarthropathies, or inflammation of the spine, is common with patients who are diagnosed with catacil. The inflammation of the spine can cause severe back pain or even herniated discs. Prevalence. The exact prevalence of catacil is unknown. However, a study done from West Scotland estimates that the disease prevalence is 1.98 per 100,000 adults with a probable mutation of 4.14 with 100,000 adults. There is a 50% chance that the mutation can be passed on to their children. Life expectancy. Life expectancy is reduced in patients affected by catacil. The mean age of death has been reported to be 61 years after suffering from the disease for about 23 years. The average age of death in males is 64.6 years, and the average age of death for females is 70.7 years. Is catacil related to other diseases? Catacil is known to be related to other diseases, and the diseases include Alzheimer's and dementia due to the worsening of the white matter lesions. Another one is pseudobulbar palsy due to recurrent strokes. And the last one is demyelination and bilateral corticobulbar lesions in the brain on the cranial nerves. Treatments. Currently, there is no cure for catacil. However, there are treatments that may help with symptoms. Antiplatelet drugs such as aspirin have been used for sporadic strokes and heart attacks. Over-the-counter drugs have been used for migraines and anti-seizure drugs have been used to control the amount of seizures a patient has. Therapy has proven to help patients suffering from depression and anxiety. Physical and occupational therapy has been used to help with daily activities and also to prevent muscle loss. Antidepressants have also been pre prescribed to patients with catacil to help with their depressive symptoms. Donepezol has been prescribed to patients with catacil who are suffering from cognitive impairments such as memory loss and confusion. Summary. All in all, cat catacil, also known as cerebral autosomal dominant arteriopathy with subcortical infarcts and leukoencephalopathy, is an inherited condition that causes strokes and other cognitive impairments. Catacil primarily affects the cerebral blood vessels in the brain. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed my presentation.